Hey there, so in today's episode we're going to be talking about how to create a directional wind on grass on, on not, not only on grass but on foliage in Unreal Engine 5 so this is what we're going to have it's the value of the intensity of the whole grass wind that you can see here it can change anytime you want it can go higher it can go lower it can just go stable it's just a simulation for the wind on the foliage so let's get in, into it so first of all um, this is the grass that I um, I had downloaded from the bridge so you can just go ahead into a bridge and download whatever you want or you can just go ahead and create your own material it doesn't really matter but the the wind that we're gonna be simulating in this uh, simulation is gonna be based on materials uh, the world position offset but anyway so let's go ahead in the material so if you just go ahead in the material that the, the mesh has it's a material instance just go ahead and double click on it this is the whole code that we've created for the for the wind so first of all uh, if you are going to simulate the wind uh, make the value of the wind higher or lower in the foliage or in another words if you want to change the scalar parameter vector parameter or any other parameter in real time in the runtime uh, inside a blueprint you will need to create a material collection so go ahead right click I mean not in your blueprints folder just go ahead in your material folder uh, materials right click and materials material collection uh, material parameter collection I've already created mine so let's go ahead in my collection um, I've added a scalar parameter a and a vector parameter these two are what I need in this thing in this material that I've created the first one is named intensity uh, honestly I'm only changing the intensity in here but you can change the direction as well the direction is gonna be a vector parameter the direction of the whole uh, wind on grass so we've created our material collection so let's go ahead in our material itself so there's a node called simple grass wind as you can see you can just right click simple grass wind you got it here then hold m on your keyboard left click you have multiply um hold s on your keyboard you have scalar parameters so you can just go ahead and call it something doesn't really matter let me delete this one yeah but in our case we are going to change the wind intensity in runtime so we can't do it with the scalar parameter it just doesn't work we have to be using the material collection that we have right now we have created our material collection in it was in surfaces um it was in not in here definitely uh maybe not here as well yeah here it is um so you can drag your material collection into the material itself um, and change the parameter name to whatever you have already created in the material collection in this case I'm using the intensity the one right here because it's gonna be a scalar a float one um, parameter that we're gonna be changing later on I'm not going to be changing uh, wind uh, weight and wind speed in the runtime so you can just go ahead and give it a value whatever you want you can either go ahead and hold one on your keyboard and left click and give it a value like that or you can just give it a scalar parameter if you want to change it in the material instance later on um, you then have to multiply it by a vertex color vertex color is just say type in vertex color and then it must be attached to the red channel so for the this is where we simulate the direction the additional WPO 
so this is the direction again you can just copy ctrl c ctrl v this one and then just go ahead and choose the direction here but we already had have that so it doesn't really matter and then we are going to normalize it just type in normalize it comes right there uh, multiply it hold the ammo keyboard and left click uh, so the influence is gonna be in my case um, this one should be one actually or we don't really need this yeah whatever we don't really need this one because this is the intense no I'm sorry the influence should be one and it's gonna be multiplied by the intensity these two are different if you want to change the influence in your material um, instance you can do so if you don't want that just go ahead and connect the intensity right into the direction but if you want more control this is the way to go and then we have to break the two vector uh, flow two components and then make a vector tree out of it float or flow tree out of it just go ahead and make flow tree we want a flow tree because WPO is as you can see here a vector tree which or flow tree it doesn't really matter and um, the third one or the Z value is going to be the intensity and then go, you just go ahead and connect it to the additional WPO it doesn't matter then it's time to let compile shaders it's time to create the um let me go ahead in my blueprint create the wind control so right click blueprint class actor give it a name i've already created it and here we are in our blueprint that's going to be controlling the whole grass wind or the wind itself or the whole simulation you can add you can add a lot of different layers to it actually but in this case I'm only working on the grass itself so on event begin, begin play I'm only doing I'm not doing anything random I'm only I've created a timeline and everything's based on this timeline so nothing fancy here you can go ahead and create some different random values um, it's completely based on what you think might be beautiful but in this tutorial it's just only because we want to show you how it's done nothing fancy here as I told you so this is the whole code uh, as you can see the event begin play comes forward into a timeline this is just a value I am setting to uh, to prevent a bug that was happening before so just go ahead and even begin play at a timeline right here at timeline and then go ahead inside your timeline the length for me is 20 seconds oh i've added a float track because float is what we um i'm using in overall uh hold shift on your keyboard left click at a point and then you can just move your point or you can change the time or the value um, so as you can see it's at this time this is the value and all the values are between 0 and 1 because later on I'm I am going to use this value as a um, so as you can see here we had the intensity so this intensity is going to be between 0 and 1 in, in here we can change it though we can probably multiply it by 2 or 10 and then hook this one into this one but I am only using a value between 0 and 1 so if you have a material uh, if you have created a material collection a material parameter collection you can just go ahead and set scalar parameter value and choose the collection you have already created and then when you choose the collection you have access to all the parameters that you have created inside the material it's definitely easier than 
working with the scalar parameter values inside the material instance because in that way you have to create a dynamic instance and sometimes it just doesn't work so and for uh, foliage it definitely doesn't work so you have to either way create a uh, material in parameter collection so this is a parameter value and this is the set vector parameter value because as you can recall we have created two values which one is the scalar parameter and one is the vector parameter which is called direction and we are only changing the r value you can though go ahead and create different timelines different probably r g b values r is x y z values and change the direction that way i am not doing that it's just a representation of the whole system and how it works and when everything's finished we are just going to we have created a custom event we've called it replay and then it's just gonna play from start and um it's just for a diff to make it a little bit different is all but it doesn't do anything actually yeah so we can just unhook this one and this one too. So, and then w when you have created it, you can just drag it into this scene and you're going to be done. That's it. And then it works. You can uh, even change the direction probably from R to some b you can't definitely change the z value it uh, the grass is not gonna look great but x and y values are the ones you have to i mean you can change based on your preferences and um, this is it i hope you liked it and i hope it helps and if it did help please hit that like button have a great day